Prepare to be dazzled by LG's revolutionary G3 OLED TV range, rewriting the history of home cinema entertainment with its groundbreaking enhancements. Long applauded by home theater enthusiasts, OLED TVs have never taken such a monumental stride forward in a single generation as they have with the G3 range. The secret LG's pioneering micro lens array, MLA technology. It's an innovation that ignites a brilliance previously unseen in any OLED OLED display. It's not just a mere improvement. This technology catapults the G3 into an echelon of brightness that totally reinvents the 4K TV experience. Hold on to your remote. The future of television has arrived. Picture quality. Let's cut to the chase on the image quality. It's a visual symphony. Breathtaking. The TV comes tantalizingly close to the epitome of perfection. Everything viewed on this screen simply becomes a better version of itself. And for the gamers out there, here's the bottom line. This is the ultimate TV for your gaming exploits. Brightness. The revolution in brightness, spearheaded by micro lens array technology in this TV panel, is undeniable for OLED aficionados. But even to the untrained eye, the amalgamation of its vibrant luminosity, unblemished black levels, and pixel-precise control delivers a viewing spectacle unmatched in OLED history until 2022. I know many are wondering, can the LG G3 hold its own against the much-touted QD OLEDs from Samsung and Sony? In a word, yes. The LG G3 doesn't merely compete, it gives them a serious challenge. Granted, the QD OLEDs boast remarkable color purity and brightness that the G3 might not quite equal. So yes, a detailed comparison may tilt favorably towards either column. But overall, the G3 is the formidable OLED contender LG intended to class swords with the QD OLED. It's a phenomenal TV that I would not just recommend, but be overjoyed to make it the centerpiece of my living room. What makes this TV a showstopper? Let's dive into some of the metrics I've gathered. If you're not a fan of data crunching, no worries. Feel free to leap forward to the synopsis, where I've tried to capture the experience that truly needs to be seen to be believed. For the detailed enthusiast among you, here's the treasure trove. The peak brightness in SDR filmmaker mode clocks in at an impressive 350 nits technically surpassing the SDR standard. Yet in anything but a pitch black room, viewers will appreciate the heightened brightness. As we venture into HDR filmmaker mode, the TV continues its streak of exceeding expectations. The LG G3 dazzles with its peak brightness levels between 1450 to 1520 nits, maintaining a steady 230 nits with a full field white window based on my tests. I believe this is the most impressive performance I've seen from any OLED TV. The G3's two-point white balance measurement is so impeccably aligned with the D65 industry standard that further enhancement seems almost redundant. After a minor tweak to the green channel, I received the most impeccable white balance results I've ever encountered. While QD OLEDs require white balance adjustments right out of the box, the LG G3 stood perfect as is. Examining 12 grayscale points, the average delta E a measurement of the division from the standard, recorded a minuscule 0.5, arguably the best out-of-box performance I've observed from any consumer-grade TV. And by out-of-the-box, I mean untouched, uncalibrated picture preset, specifically the filmmaker mode. The total gamut and color checker results displayed errors so minute they fell below the perceptible threshold for the human eye, requiring sophisticated high-end tools just to identify any discrepancy. The performance was so stellar that I reset the TV to factory settings twice, barred any updates, and reran the test, and still found the same results. However, not everything is as perfect as it appears. More on this shortly. The only discrepancy in the TV's impressive SDR readings was color luminance, which skewed due to the TV's overzealous brightness for SDR. Toning down the brightness slightly, setting it to 80, rectifies this. While technically the filmmaker mode's out-of-the-box brightness isn't accurate, it enhances the viewing experience for those not in complete darkness, which I believe is a win-win for most consumers. Furthermore, the TV's auto brightness limiter, or ABL, is quite gentle. 
During prolonged exposure to high brightness images, the screen maintained its vibrance and dynamic display longer than required. With real content, where the image constantly varies, the ABL rarely engages. Impressively, the G3 covers 99% of the DCI P3 color space and 75% of B2020, demonstrating stellar accuracy throughout. Motion and Processing Let's dive into upscaling and overall processing. How does this TV handle content of low resolution, low bit rate, and low bit depth, like cable, live streaming TV, or certain or certain lush polished YouTube videos? Remarkably well, it must be said. It might not perform miracles, but consider this. I watched the Masters Golf Tournament streaming on Sling TV and Paramount Plus. Despite the mediocre quality of the streams, the overall viewing experience was impressive. The G3 couldn't perform wonders on high detail, texture-heavy images like Augusta National's Greens, where the video stream lacked detailed information. However, on a larger scale, the sharpness was exceptional, and I observed minimal color banding even with the TV's smooth gradation feature switched off. I should note, my review samples came with a pristine panel, which definitely helped. Early customer reports suggest any vertical banding on retail units is minimal and practically imperceptible during regular viewing. Now, let's talk about motion handling. That's a mixed blessing. Cinematic 24 frames per second content is paced flawlessly and 30 frames per second content is presented as intended without any additional motion smoothing. However, during slow panning sequences, bright objects exhibited a flashing or strobing effect. While this is a common characteristic of OLED TVs due to the instant pixel response time, the effect is amplified due to this TV's high brightness capabilities. The good news, LG's cinematic movement motion setting somewhat offset the strobing effect to a degree I find tolerable. But if you focus exclusively on this aspect instead of absorbing the overall image, it might bother you. Once you engage with 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second content, mainly video games, this issue becomes irrelevant. Plus, if you fancy activating stronger motion smoothing, be prepared for an uncannily fluid picture with as much or as little soap opera effect as you desire. Desire. User Experience Commendably, this TV offers the best off-axis viewing experience, providing impeccable picture quality to everyone in the room, regardless of seating arrangement. The anti-glare feature also enhances the viewing experience significantly. However, there are minor hitches. The stand, although swiveling, tilts the screen back and adds instability. The audio quality falls short of expectations, especially when compared to its predecessor, the 2022 LG G2 or the Sony OLED models. A soundbar is recommended to improve this aspect. Finally, the operating system, WebOS, feels cluttered and intrusive with its ads and suggestions. Using a Chromecast with Google TV provided a more satisfying user-friendly experience. Gaming Gamers, are you ready to embrace the best gaming TV of 2023? The LG G3 takes the crown, building on the foundations of its predecessor, 2022's top gaming TV, the LG G2. The G3 shines brighter and offers even more thrilling gaming experience. Unlike Sony's models, which will eventually support Dolby Vision gaming this year, the G3 immediately offers four HDMI 2.1 ports, doubling Sony's provision. So on this account alone, the G3 is set to take the lead. However, I must note that Dolby Vision Gaming Model registered as a tad too bright in my tests, which LG needs to address. But given their record, a corrective update should be out soon, so no major alarm bells here. I have more insights on the G3 to share in future comparison videos, where I will pit it against the Samsung S95B, Sony A95K, and even the LG C3 OLED. I also aim to compare it to the top contenders for 2023, the Samsung S95C and Sony A95L. I'm excited to dive deeper into the G3's prowess, but from what I've seen so far, it's a dazzling champion in the TV realm. It's exciting, lavish, and embodies everything a high-end TV should be. It's love at first sight for me. The G-Series for the first time since it's joined LG's lineup is truly justifying its higher price. It's advanced, exceptional, and a choice you won't regret despite the investment. As we wrap up this video, it's clear that LG's G3 OLED has truly raised the bar in the world of TVs. This model takes everything we love about OLEDs and elevates it to new thrilling heights. With impressive brightness, 
mesmerizing picture quality, and a gaming experience that's second to none, the G3 is well worth the investment. There are a few minor caveats, like the slightly overly bright Dolby Vision gaming mode and the less than stellar onboard sound. However, with LG's history of timely updates and the solutions of adding a soundbar, these issues won't overshadow the G3's extraordinary performance. The bottom line is this, the LG G3 is a next level TV. It's a luxury, a delight, and an absolute game changer. Whether you're a gamer, a movie enthusiast, or just someone who appreciates top-notch picture quality, the G3 is an investment you won't regret. In the coming weeks, stay tuned for more in-depth reviews and comparisons to see how the G3 stacks up against other top-tier TVs in the market. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. I can't wait to dive deeper into this thrilling new era of OLED technology with you all. So until then, thank you for watching, and remember, in the world of home cinema, brighter is better, and the LG G3 OLED is leading the way. This is your host, signing off. See you on the next video.